I would like to start off by saying I don't mind the rain. I don't mind the rain for a number of reasons. I'm alive to experience the rain. It's a beautiful thing. Condolences goes out to all the parents, the mothers, fathers, siblings who have lost a loved one. Not because they chose to lose a loved one, but because they are part of a community or communities that are undernourished by not having resources. Youth workers who are stressed because they are tasked with taking care of our children, our young people, community service agencies that are doing their utmost work to take care of our children and our young people. This is what parents are living with. The bombardment of we are not important. You don't vote. You can't vote. And because you don't vote, or you can't vote because you are not given the right to vote, you are unable to participate in the political system to make your community that much better. These are the conditions of our families. These are the conditions of our community service agencies. So I don't mind the rain. Let it rain. It's okay. Because the message is, young people are dying. Agencies are doing their best. Politicians and our elective officials are adding to the help. Where are we going wrong? Is it, like my friend said, deja vu, another year? Another newspaper title that says, Year of the Gun again. No, I don't think so. It's not the Year of the Gun again. A different message. Toronto, do you want to be in another country to see their citizens read the newspaper that says, Toronto, year of the gun. Is that the standard? It's not the standard. 20 years of working, Alexandra Park, Regent Park, Rexdale, Jamestown, Mont Olive, you name it. Those are communities that we have created as a system. People are placed there because of their resources. We don't have poor children. We don't have poor young people. We have poor families that are not given the opportunity, the resources to help like everybody else is trying to do, make their community that much better. So I do bring a sad message. We should be doing a little bit more. We should be supporting the young people who are supporting the young people. There are the leaders. How do we cut youth programs? How do we cut daycare services? How do we increase food banks? How do we have another shooting? I can tell you, working in the Rexdale community right now, there have been a number of shootings, a number of dead bodies, and a number of deaths. Is it the Eaton Center? No. But it's Jamestown. It's Mount Olive. It's those people. Those people are our people. Let's not gauge our success by looking at our financial district and how much income we have generated. Let's gauge our success by how we distribute the wealth of our communities, of our businesses, so that everybody has a good chance of making it. So that I don't have to stand in 
the ring with a sad message. So I could stand in the rain and dance with the Samba squad, just like many other people would like to do. Those young people did not grow up one day and say, hey, guess what? I'm gonna pick up a gun. Because I guarantee you right now, there probably been a dozen youth workers, a dozen or more agencies working to deal with those issues. But if we don't give those agencies and those youth workers the power, the authority, the resources to help us work with those that are most vulnerable, then we will suffer the consequences.